today's video, I'm sharing with you how to build a wardrobe with basics, putting my own a little twist on it. I recently decided to kind of start over with my wardrobe and kind of do an entire closet clear out and only add sustainable and ethical brands into my wardrobe as much as I possibly could. So if you guys are unaware, the fast fashion industry is pretty terrible and it's something that I just was totally unaware of and uneducated on. And after educating myself and learning just how some of the things are made that I was wearing and in the terrible working conditions and the people that are actually making them aren't even getting paid properly. It just like kind of got to me and I really wanted to make a conscious effort in 2019 to do my part and for the most part shop sustainably and ethically as much as I possibly could. Of course, I am not perfect, but it is something that I wanna to strive to work toward. That is why I'm actually super excited to share with you guys that today's video is actually in partnership with Everlane. And it's super crazy because my first ever ethical purchase was from the Everlane brand. It was actually these pair of pants. That was actually my first purchase. It was from them. They have exceptional quality pieces as well as they do their part to make sure that the factories in which these clothes are being produced are very healthy and safe working conditions as well as the people that make them are being paid fair wages and they're working fair hours so that is something that i just love about the brand i love their entire messaging as well as i love the fact that they are actually partnered with afterpay so if you're unfamiliar with what afterpay is it allows you to make that purchase now and pay later without paying a crazy interest or anything. So what that basically means is, let's say you watch today's video, I'll have the links of everything down below, and you add some things to your cart and your total is $100, but you don't wanna spend $100 right now. Afterpay actually will allow you to make your purchase today, get your items, and you can pay in four easy installments. You just pay $25 every two weeks, and yeah, that's it. You don't have to pay any money additionally on top of that. So I hope you guys stuck through that intro. It was just a very important message that I felt like I needed to get across on this channel, but now we can jump right in to the basics. The first basic, which I think is most important, even though I live in California, it's something that is essential to pretty much any climate's wardrobe, and that is a good quality coat. This one in particular is the one that I picked out, and I really love the cut and the fit of it. I struggle sometimes to find a coat that looks good unbuttoned as well as buttoned, which means that if I'm planning to use the coat for multiple uses, like I want to layer or I just want to throw it over something, I really struggle to find something that's really good quality and cut well. However, this coat from Everlane just like fits my body Amazing, I did end up getting it in a size two and I think it fits absolutely perfect. This is in the olive color. So definitely is something to have in your wardrobe. And I like the fact that it doesn't have a hood, but there's enough space where if it is raining or I need to add something underneath it that does have a hood, I can do so. The next things that are essential in your wardrobe is just some good quality basics. And this is something that I can't stress enough. For years, I didn't really understand the importance of a good quality basic. And then now I totally understand. When you invest in a good quality basics, you aren't gonna have to keep Keep repurchasing them and that was something that I was having to do I would you know get that white t-shirt from a just whatever brand and it would last me a few months and then it would start looking dingy or the material would start pilling and whatnot and I just didn't really understand that if I invested in better quality pieces and materials I would actually be able to keep those basics longer so for the first basic I'm showing you guys that is just the short sleeve tee now what's important to know about the short sleeve tee is it comes in several different fits so you want to find a fit that is good for your body type so for me these two fits fit me the best just your standard crew neck I got this one in a gray color and I did size up to a large just because I didn't want it to be fitted Sometimes I like fitted clothes and sometimes I don't. I felt like I would get more use out of it if it was a little bit looser. And then the second short sleeve tee that I have is this more of a boxy cut, which I find this looks better with, you know, like a rigid pair of jeans. Everlane actually offers like a 90s jean that's like 100% cotton. And I find that the boxy short sleeve tees just look so much better with 
those. Again, the material and quality on these is going to last you such a long time, so very important to have that in your wardrobe. The next basic that you're going to need to have is just the basic long sleeve tee, and I find that this is definitely going to vary based upon the climate that you live in, what actually you're going to need. Some people are gonna need a full on thermal that is actually going to be added as a basic. I do live in Southern California, so it doesn't get super, super cold here, but these two tees can be layered and really add warmth to any outfit if need be. So the first one is just this really nice, stretchy, ribbed, long sleeve tee. I think that this one is like the most figure flattering out of all of them. You can throw it on, you can layer it, you can wear it as is. It looks really good tucked into high-waisted jeans. Just so many different ways you could wear it. And again, the quality is so good that it just hugs the body perfectly. And then this next long sleeve tee is on the thinner side, but you can definitely layer it by putting a tank underneath. However, to me, this is like the perfect California long sleeve to where I can just wear this out as is. I love the little mock neck detailing on it. Again, the material is super soft. So those are just two great long sleeve options for you to add into your wardrobe. Then lastly, obviously you guys are going to need the basic tank or cami. Now I'm showing you guys tanks because I personally don't really like to wear camis all that often, uh, mainly because I don't really like wearing a regular bra and I find that it's so hard to wear a cami with like the proper bralette and it's just not really my style, but if it is, uh, Everlane does have super awesome options of like smaller camis that are more form fitting. Both of what I'm showing you guys here are a little bit looser, but that's just more my style, especially because I find that if I wear looser tops, it actually accentuates my uh, chest area that is non-existent. So that's just what I usually go for. So I do have a specific type of tank that I usually go for, and I love a woven material. I just find that it's really flowy and fits just so much nicer as well as it's going to last longer. So these are two different types of cuts that I'm showing you guys here. First and foremost, there is a high neck cut. Again, you can still style this with multiple things. It's also great to have a higher neck cut cami for those more professional maybe business meetings and whatnot that may just be more appropriate for you to wear. And then I have this one, which is just a very square neck woven tank, which again, I think this looks good with absolutely everything. You can layer it, you can wear it as is. Moving on to sweaters. Now, I definitely think that it is important to have two different types of sweater options in your closet. So that is first going to be just your basic standard crew neck sweater. This is great for when it's colder, it's great for layering. I can't stress enough how good these pieces are just for layering as well as you'll notice that everything I'm showing can work together for different outfits. So that is something that you definitely want to think about when you're building a wardrobe with basics. However, I definitely would say that when it comes to your basic sweaters, you need to make sure that you're getting good quality items that are going to last. Another thing that I noticed when I wasn't shopping properly was a lot of my sweaters would only last one season or two seasons. So definitely looking for something that is better quality, something that's not gonna pill, not gonna snap. And then the second type of sweater that I would recommend is what I'm wearing now, and that is a cardigan. Now there's multiple different types of cardigans you can get. You can get the basic cardigan like I'm wearing now with the buttons in the front, or you can get an open front cardigan that doesn't have buttons, or you can get one that will do both, which is like the one that I'm wearing. So this is perfect. I can wear it as is, uh, just as a regular top sweater, or I can wear it unbuttoned and just throw it over a dress if it gets chilly in the summer or spring. And then it also is great, again, to layer. I can put my coat over this that I showed earlier that will just keep me totally warm if I need to. Next, you are definitely going to need a good quality pair of jeans. And this is something that is just really important and crucial to your wardrobe. I've always been someone who knew that good quality jeans were important, especially with my body type in particular. I just can't really fit into a lot of brands. They just don't fit my body properly. And I really like these particular jeans. They're like my new favorite. They have the button fly. And I like the fact that they're not stark black and they have like a little bit of a wash to them. So again, they will match with everything. But if you go for your standard black jean, they will also match with everything. Now, I personally prefer my jeans with a lot of stretch in them. However, if you guys are looking for something different, Everlane has a ton of options. And when you're looking for jeans online, sometimes it can be difficult. But I did notice that on the Everlane website, they're really good about telling you guys the height 
and the size that the model is wearing. And another thing that I loved is not every model on their site is the same size. I cannot stress enough, it was so refreshing to go on his website and see that the model was the same size as me and I could know that those were the size of jeans that I needed, which usually I'm used to going on a website and have no clue what size of jeans to order. But definitely a good pair of jeans is something that's definitely essential in anyone's wardrobe. Now moving on to shoes, which can be tricky. Again, this will go with what climate you're living in. I find that with my style and living in California, you can just throw on a pair of booties with anything. So these are the particular ones that I'm adding to my wardrobe. I already have a regular like matte black pair, but these patent ones just gravitated towards me. And I think surprisingly enough, you would think that these are patent. They don't go with everything, but they will. To me, that's what's so fun about them is they'll add that little pop to certain outfits where you wouldn't necessarily think that they would. So I absolutely love those. And then the next pair of shoes that I think is essential to everyone's wardrobe is a pair of flats. Now whether you're a regular flats girl or you like mules, I have both of them to show you guys here. So basically the difference is one of them has a back on it and one doesn't. All with personal preference, I just find that the mules are so much more comfortable, easy to slide on, and just great to go with anything. So those were all of my ethical and sustainable wardrobe essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. A huge thank you to Everlane for sponsoring this video and just being such an amazing company. So don't forget to check out the description box where I will have the links to everything I showed in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.